in the previous video we discussed about the overview of RNA editing. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video we will be discussing about the RNA editing mechanism, which includes the site specific deamination of cytidine and adenosine. Here in this RNA editing process, the cytidine is acted upon by cytidine deaminase enzyme and converts it into uridine. And the best example of this deamination process occurs in ApoB gene. The second process is when the adenosine is acted upon by ADAR enzyme and converts this adenosine into inosine. And remember, during this kind of RNA editing process, the frame shift doesn't occur, the reading frame remains the same and only specific codon nature changes. Now first of all, let's get to the cytidine to uridine reaction. In this diagram, we have the cytidine molecule. This part is the cytosine part and the lower one is the ribose ring, aka ribofurinose. Both these structures are combined together by glycosidic linkage that forms as the cytidine molecule, which is a nucleoside. Moving on, here the cytidine is acted upon by cytidine deaminase in presence of water and removes NH3 and from this reaction we get the uridine molecule. This kind of reaction occurs in ApoB gene. The unedited ApoB gene yields ApoB100 protein, whereas the edited ApoB gene yields us the ApoB48 protein. Now let's see the mechanism. Here in this diagram we have the ApoB gene with 4564 codons. The last codon is UAA which codes for nothing and acts as a termination codon referred as occur. And in the middle of mRNA, we have the CAA codon at 2153 position. This CAA codon codes for glutamine amino acid. So if the gene for this mRNA is present in the liver cells, the mRNA remains unedited. There will be ribosomal assembly and the protein synthesis will start. The charged tRNA will bring respect to amino acids according to the codons present on mRNA. And when tRNA meets the 2153 codon, that CAA, it will bring the glutamine amino acid here and will go on. And finally, the translation will stop at 4563 codon when tRNA fails to bring any amino acid as UAA codes for nothing. So eventually, the translation will stop. And from that process, we get the ApoB100 protein that's translated from 4564 codons. Now if the gene for this mRNA is present in the intestine cells, that time RNA editing takes place. Here the deamination occurs at 2153 position by cytidine deaminase enzyme. For this deamination to occur, we need some other proteins also like ApoBEC protein, ApoBEC CF protein and many other proteins. These proteins assemble at editing site and are referred as editosome. And then this editosome mediates the RNA editing process, thereby converting the cytidine to uracil. So during this editing, the cytidine deaminase converts the cytidine to uridine, and we get the uridine in place of cytidine, which converts the codon from CAA to UAA. Now this UAA codes for nothing and acts as a termination codon. So in the middle of RNA molecule, we have the termination codon now. And when the translation starts on this edited RNA, the charged tRNA will bring respect to amino acids according to the codons present on mRNA. And it's when the protein translation machinery meets the 2153 codon, that's UAA, it will act as a termination codon, as tRNA fails to bring any amino acid as UAA codes for nothing. So here in the middle of mRNA at 2153 position, the translation will terminate and we will get a new kind of protein that's termed as ApoB48 protein, which is different from the ApoB100 protein. And remember, the ApoB100 protein has got all the sequences translated into protein, which includes LDL receptor binding domain that have sequences from 3373 codon to 3393 codon. And the ApoB48 lacks the LDL receptor binding domain as the translation terminates at 2153 codon. And this ApoB48 is named so because it contains only 48% of the sequences from ApoB100 protein. Furthermore, let's see what are the core differences in these proteins. 
Here we see the ApoB100 protein helps in the secretion of VLDL from liver. It is structural protein for VLDL, IDL and HDL and most importantly it acts as ligand for LDL receptor. And on the other hand the ApoB48 aids in the secretion of chylomicrons from intestine and helps in the absorption of TGs from intestine. Now let's see the mechanism of adenosine to inosine deamination process. We know adenosine in the RNA is acted upon by ADAR enzyme and gets converted into inosine. And this inosine base pairs with any nitrogenous bases, it may be A, T, or G, or C. And it's detected as gonosine during translation process. Now moving on to the mechanism. The ADAR, which is adenosine deaminase acting on RNA, catalyzes the adenosine to inosine reaction. And this conversion occurs only on double-stranded RNA structures, like uh, when we have the RNA molecule structures like this shown in the diagram. The ADAR has got DS binding domain, that is double-strand binding domain. And it also has got adenosine binding domain as shown in the diagram. The ADAR enzyme comes in and binds the double-stranded RNA and then mediates the conversion. The ADAR works in presence of water molecule and drives nucleophilic hydrolytic deamination of adenosine to inosine as shown in the diagram. So ultimately we get the A to I conversion thereby editing the RNA molecule. The ADAR mediated RNA editing regulates and diversifies the transcriptome like we have the regulation of serotonin receptor by A to I conversion. The A to I editing in the serotonin receptor leads to several variants of mRNA molecule that in turn leads to several isoforms of receptor. So this is the mechanism of RNA editing that's mediated by deamination processes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.